Good day everyone! Welcome once again to Grammar Class 101 still in collaboration with Miss Shai. So hello once again! Welcome to the lesson 2 of the, for the subject Art Appreciation. So today we're going to talk and discuss the basic assumptions, functions, and nature of art. So what is art? Definitely, art is an expression made visible by a form. The expression contained in the form is an attempt to translate the unnamed and the unknown. Intrinsic to our existence as humans is our quest to create meaning, then art allows the process to take place. Making meaning involves understanding our surroundings and marking our experiences. Art at its root is an expression and the artist is an expressor, translating in order to create meaning. Art expresses and translates, art acknowledges and reveals, art transfers and art intervenes. Art is also an expression, an expression of feeling, belief, and character. The simplicity of that sentence is rather deceptive and seems tidy so that it's then its implications so the basic assumptions of art are the following we're gonna discuss it later so assumption is a thing that is accepted as true as certain to happen without proof it is something that you accept as true without question or proof many assumption has been written without about arts and some of these are Art has been created by all people at all times in all countries and it lives because it is well liked and enjoyed. Naturally, arts linger on particularly if it is popular and loved by people. Example, the works and writings of Dr. Jose Rizal and the movie, The Ten Commandments. Art involves experience, this one. In order to experience something, you have to make use of your five senses, right? Hence, there can never be appreciation, appreciated of art, think, uh, of art without having experienced it. Art is not nature. Nature is not art. Why? Because art is made by man and nature is by God. However, nature can be enhanced by man. The enhanced beauty and artistry of nature then can be classified as an art. Art is also cultural. Art is a work of humans and anything that has been created by humans is part of culture. Art becomes cultural when it depicts people's way of life, religious practices, mores, and traditions, and etc. Art is a form of creation. Why? Because art is something that is created with imagination and skill that is beautiful or that expresses important ideas or feelings. Human is the creator of art. Artist is simply a person who creates art. Art is also subjective. It cannot be measured by its significance or the level of skill with which is with which it is created. It is subjective in nature. Its subjective in nature makes art's only measurable quality is whether or not it exists. Example, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, meaning every individual has his or her own perception and or interpretation about the subject. It would never be the same for every individual. So the nature of arts. First, art is a diverse range of human activities in creating visual, auditory, or performing artworks expressing the author's imaginative of, or technical skill intended to be appreciated for their beauty or emotional power. In their most general form, these activities include the production of works of art, the study of the history of art, and the aesthetic dissemination of art. Second, art represents reality. Representation is the use of signs that stand in for and take the place of something else. It is through representation that people organize the world and reality through the act 
of naming its elements. Art represents reality. Since it is often depicting objects or scenes from the world, there is a sense in which art represents the mind's eye or what the imagination perceives. Art is also an expression. The expression contained in the form is an attempt to translate the unnamed and the unknown. Intrinsic to our existence as humans in our quest to create meaning, add art allows that process to take place. Making meaning involves understanding our surroundings, surroundings and marking our experiences. Number four, art serves as a means of communication of emotions. The purpose of works of art may be to communicate political, spiritual, or philosophical ideas, to create a sense of beauty, to explore the nature of perception for pleasure, or to generate strong emotions. Art is an act of expressing feelings, thoughts, and observations of human conditions. A fundamental purpose common to most art forms is the underlying intention to appeal to and to connect with, with the human emotion. Number five, art matters. Why? Art matters because they allow us to express ourselves and illustrate the world around us in a different light, helping us to gain understanding of people and society and give hope while living in this world. Art matters because it illustrates the human experience. Number six, art is universal. Why is it that art is universal? Literally, art can be found in every corner of the world. Art is everywhere and it is embedded into the way of life of the people. Exclusivity, exclusivity is out of bounds when you speak of arts because it is for everyone. Art is through Esperanto. An artificial international language, the one form of culture that is genuinely beyond national limitations. Art knows no barriers, not even language is a barrier. In. Somebody. 